Hey, hey, and welcome to Daddy Mojo. It's the podcast where we'll talk about parenting, all age comic books, toys, and more. Now, here's your host, Trey Burley. Try, if you will, a world without National Treasure or Indiana Jones. Now, aside from being a horrible world cinematically, it would deprive generations of kids the joy of thinking about being an archaeologist. Because when I was a kid, that's kind of what I wanted to be. When I was in college, I minored in that for a little bit. And it's a fascinating thing that every kid thinks about. This is an armchair compendium for those fourth graders all the way through middle school. Tales of ancient worlds, adventures, and archaeology. What's cool about this book is that it really hammers those ages, fourth grade all the way through middle school. Now, when you look at the illustrations, you say to yourself, well, the illustrations are kind of soft for those advanced, surly middle school ages, but dig it, the content they will not know, which is surprising because middle school kids know everything, don't they? <laughs> of course they don't. This is a book that's going to hit those fourth graders all the way through middle school. And when those middle schoolers see that those fourth graders know more about ancient history than they do, Man, are they going to be embarrassed. So it's going to motivate them to study more. Each history, the book takes place kind of like back from the cave, the, the Neolithic era, Paleolithic, Paleolithic era, all the way through, I guess I'll call it semi-modern times, and great discoveries in archaeology. Things that were discovered, like 260,000 coins under a samurai leader's living room in ancient Japan. It's fascinating, and it's filled with little vignettes like that that can be read as a linear story, but it can also be read from soup to nuts, from start to finish. But if you're doing an essay and you're in elementary school, it's going to make for a great essay that's going to knock your teacher's socks off and be much better than that other stuff that those kids are doing. And you can do better, can't you? <laughs> Tales of Ancient Worlds, Adventures in Archaeology. This is a textbook but it reads like a fun, engaging action book that might just motivate some of those kids to become the next erstwhile or real-life Indiana Jones. It's a great book. Thanks for listening to Daddy Mojo. Be sure to tune in next time. For more information on any of the things we talked about today, just check out the website, daddymojo.net, or hit us up at Daddy Mojo on social media.